Channel 2 News at noon. Skeptic when it came to this issue of alien abductions. What changed your thinking? Yeah, when I first heard about Bud Hopkins, as the, who was the pioneer researcher here, and that he took seriously these stories of people who reported being abducted, I thought there must be something wrong with him, and probably these people were suffering from some new form of mental illness. But in the past four years, I've worked now with approximately 90 people who've had these experiences, and they tell a very similar story. And initially, at least in the early years, they hadn't been in communication with each other. They were deeply distressed by their experiences. The experiences were reported in great detail. Uh, they were uh, complex narratives of being taken by alien beings into UFOs on beams of light. Uh, they, they were embarrassed, ashamed to come forward about it. Uh, and you these, don't think these were wild dreams, not hallucinations? Not at all. These are very solid people, uh, healthy, mm -hmm. mentally healthy uh, people. Uh, and uh, the only thing I knew that behaves like that is real experience. This is not the way dreams behave. This is not the way mental illness behaves. It's not the way fantasy behaves. Some kind of real experience is occurring to these people. But if this is a real experience, that is some kind of entities, beings, intelligences are entering our world and affecting hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of people according to polls, then this is something really worth looking at. So that's what I've been trying to do is get people at least look at it, think about it. Joan Victoria, you've had quite an emotional week, haven't you? You yes. went public with your story just yesterday and you've been keeping this quiet since you were a child. Tell Over us about 40 your, years. your story. Well, um, it happened before I was six years old. It's been happening ever since that time. It comes on and off for so many times, you know, during the year, and then there'll be gaps that it doesn't happen. But I know these are going to go on. This is not something that um, I really have a lot of control about. Meaning, what, what's mm -hmm. happening? Is it a message that's going back and forth between you and who you met with earlier? It's, or? it's actual, you know, being taken from either your yard or your home. Um, and so you're losing. being taken and taken over throughout the years? Yes. yes. Were you put on any kind of a table, any test I have, on you? I have recollections of being on a table, of not being able to see, you know, my environment around me because of the incredible bright light. The light yeah. is so white, it it's almost hurts to open your eyes. And a lot of times, I would, you know, you just close your eyes because you really don't want to look, you don't want to see, you don't want to re remember this. Was it a painful experience? Um, I have to say there was a lot of terror um, years ago for me, a lot of fear, and I've really worked hard to get through all that and to come out kind of on the other side and to try to understand it and be much more open-minded and also, you know, to try to take the whole experience in. Yeah. Dr. Mack, you had a falling out with Carl Sagan over this whole issue. Well, not really a falling out. I, I mean, I think the, what, uh, the difference between Carl Sagan and myself around this is perhaps at the root of the struggle that's going on about the society. We're opening up now to other realities, but Carl Sagan and many other scientists uh, are holding to the notion that the only reality that exists is this physical world that we can see with our uh, five senses and that anything beyond that, to say it exists, you have to have a piece of dinner plate off of a UFO or something like that. And I'm saying, no, there are realities that are just as powerful, just as real as this one. Other cultures have known this mm -hmm. besides ours. Almost a and, spiritual dimension. Well, or at least something, at. as the abductees put it, another realm beyond the veil, they say, which mm -hmm. is now entering into our world. So we really have no category in, in our culture. We're opening to it now uh, for something that comes from some other dimension but manifests physically in our world, that crosses that sacred divide we've kept so far apart from. Fascinating subject. We thank you both for joining us Thanks, today on this yes. very controversial and emotional issue. Thanks thank for having us. you both for being with us. And still ahead, Frank's got the forecast. But first, a new blood test to see if your unborn baby has Down syndrome.